Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to deploy your Streamlit application from your local computer to an AWS EC2 instance. So here I have a Streamlit application. You see here in this directory, we have app.py. That is the code of the front end of the Streamlit app. And then there's a utils, docs, and then more importantly, there's a requirements. This is where the dependencies and packages live in. So you have this thing loaded. You can obviously see that here we have hugging face. You can deploy on hugging face. But what if you want to deploy on an AWS EC2 instance? So here's how it works. Once you have this file ready, now you want to go to AWS. So you start from AWS EC2 dashboard. This is where it is. Go to launch instance. Click on that, it will bring you to this page. Give a name, pick the instance level and the virtual machine. And then down here, you want to pick the instance type. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to select the free tier. And then down here, you want to give a key pair. This is a key pair that you want to create so that you can use it to access the EC2 instance locally. So. I already click one here. I call a streamlit test key. Uh, once you create a new pair, it will prompt a file to save locally. And obviously you wanna know where you save that in your own computer. My recommendation is you save it in the same directory as where you have the streamlit application built. So now with that being said, click on that. And then you wanna check these two buttons. You wanna allow all the HTTP traffic to come in to access this by uh, using these rules. But of course, this allows all public traffic. Uh, if you are doing this for your company, for your private project, you want to be a bit more careful with the security groups here. And you probably want to go select the existing security group, talk to your IT department, and see what they can do about it. And with that being said, you pretty much all set up, and you can just create the instance. After you create the instance, you will see something running here. And you can navigate to this page by going to the sidebar on the left, say instances. And once this is running and there's a green check mark, you are ready to go. Click on the instance ID, and this is where the instance lives. Before you hit connect, you want to go down here, click on the security group, and then under the security group, you see this link, clicking that, and then you're going to see all these inbound rules. So you want to add the inbound rules, and then you want to add a rule to create a custom TCP, and you want to allow the port A501, as I just created here. Since I already have it, I'm not going to go create another one. And this is the rule for Streamly application to be running on. And once you're all set, just save the rules and you should be ready to go. So after rules are created, you want to come back to this instance and then you want to hit connect. Uh, here, there are a couple of things that you can do. You can use the instance connect. This will prompt you a terminal on the cloud on AWS console. My personal favorite is using SSH client. And there's actually a line of code down here that allow you to connect your local computer with the EC2 cloud. So you see in this directory that I have, I have MetaLama3 full stack. That is a directory of where I built the Streamlit application. On the left-hand side, you can see that I have a utils, I have an app.py, I have config, readme file requirements, so on and so forth. And then in parallel, to where that folder lives. I also have this streamlit test key.pim file, P-E-M file. That is the key file that I just downloaded while I was creating that EC2 instance. So now you can use this code down here in the last line in SSH client, copy that, and then go to your terminal window and paste it here and hit enter it will be able to log you into the Amazon Linux instance cloud. And then you can do a LS. This will show you the directory of where you are. And then you wanna copy a bunch of stuff in here just to make sure that you have the Streamlit app, not just on locally, but also on the cloud. Since this terminal is logging to the EC2 instance, as you can see here, EC2 user, and that's your IP address, you want to use a different terminal in the same directory to physically do the copy. So I have another terminal window open just above here. And then you can use this line of command to copy everything in that folder 
onto your EC2 instance. I'm going to provide all these links in a tutorial. One thing you do have to change is this bracket here. You want to change to your own EC2 public DNS. So let's come back to the connect to instance page. You see here that it says EC2 44220135278. That's precisely what you want. So you can copy that. So I missed something earlier. You want to add the domain, right? Compute one, Amazon AWS, things like that. So once you have that run the line of command, you'll be able to see that these files are now copied onto the cloud. And then all you got to do is run a no hop streamlit run app.py and you'll be able to go to the designated IP address to see your app running. So I just launch it and boom, there you go. That's the app running. Now to verify this is actually running, let me actually go to an incognito and now I can run this IP address to access the same streamlit application. Now here I already registered a username password. So I'm going to log in with my own and boom, there you go. You'll be able to see that I'm logging to my own account on Streamlit application, and it gives me the access of Llama 3 model. And I can start a conversation. For example, tell me a joke, and then it will tell me a joke. Say, why couldn't bicycle stand up by itself? Wait for it, because it was too tired. And then you can ask for more complicated questions. Say, for example, write me a Python function to calculate Fibonacci number and then it will give you that function so there you go hopefully you like this video hopefully this video give you a thorough overview of how to go from a local streamlit application and deploy that on an aws ec2 instance thank you for watching subscribe and like